Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix this error. Go to Xbox and then go to the home screen. Go to my games and apps. Now, once you go to my games and app, you will see your game over here. Now, select your game and then go to manage game and add-ons. Now, once you select it on this screen, scroll down and then go to saved data and then you will see reserved space over here. Select reserved space and then you will see this screen which says clear reserved space. If Call of Duty is running, then this will quit the game. The game will reserve the space again the next time you launch it. So I'm not sure if you're going to lose your save game progress or not, but I don't know. So maybe you will lose the data. So if you agree, then only you can perform this step. Now you can go to clear reserve space and then hit it. Now, once you clear the reserve space, now you can launch the game and then check. Now, if you're receiving this error with cloud gaming, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Go to Xbox website. Uh, the link is provided in the video description. Copy this link, open this link in a browser. It will take you to Xbox website. Now at the top right, you will see a profile icon. You have to log in. If you're not logged in, make sure that you log in with your account. And then once you're logged in with the correct account at the top right, you will see your profile icon. And then you can go to settings and then go to over here you will see manage games option so click on manage games now once you click on manage games at the right hand side you will see all your games in my case my region is not supported for xbox cloud gaming so i don't see anything over here but in your case if cloud gaming is supported you will see the list of game over here now once you see the list of game now you have to select the game which is giving you the error message so select the game which is giving you the error message now once you select the game you have to delete the saved reservation delete the saved reservation and once you delete it then sync the save file you have to sync the save file and then relaunch the game make sure that you do not delete the saved game data you only delete the save reservation now if that does not work you can close the game completely whichever game is is giving you the error message close that game completely and then start another cloud game so any other game any other game which, is, which supports cloud you can launch other game and when you are in another game in cloud gaming open settings and then once you open settings go to manage games once again and then find you can find the game for example call of duty game or it may be warzone it may be black ops 6 or any game which supports cloud gaming now you have to select the game which is giving you the error message so go to manage games and then find the game which is giving you the error message and then delete saved reserves do not delete your saved game data after that you you hit resync and then you can launch the game and that should help you to fix the error. Now still you are receiving the error, then please follow the rest of the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to perform power cycle. To perform a power cycle, now press and hold the power button on your Xbox console to turn it off. So keep holding it till it's off. Now you can see it's off. Now once the Xbox console is off, now unplug the power cable from the xbox console so unplug the power cable now once it's unplugged now wait for 10 to 15 seconds now after 10 to 15 seconds now plug in the power cable back to the xbox console now once you plug in the power cable now turn on the xbox console and now check next step is to select port manually 
So go to the home screen, press the home button on the controller and on the top, go to your profile. Now, once you select your profile, go to settings and then go to general. Now under general, go to network settings and then scroll down and select advanced settings. Now, once in advanced settings, go to alternate port selection. Now over here, select manual and over here, you have to select port which starts with either four or five. So this is just an example. In my case, it's 49405. So the number may differ. So you have to start the port which starts with four or either five. So you can try both four. You can try four and check still you're facing the problem. Then you can select five, like any port which starts with five. So for now I will select four and then continue and then go to the home screen and then you have to restart your console. So now select your profile and then go to power and then you can restart console, select restart console and then check. Now the next step is to clear Mac address on your Xbox console. Now press the home button on your controller and then go to profile and then go to settings go to settings and then go to general and then select network settings and then over here go to advanced settings now select alternate mac address and then select clear and then you have to restart your console so your console must, must restart to apply this change so hit restart and then check now the next step is to try google dns server now go to settings on the top and then go to general and then go to network settings and then scroll down go to advanced settings and then over here you can see dns settings go to dns settings and then go to manual now over here type in number eight for primary dns number eight and then go to the second box and then again type in 8 over here and again go to the third box and then again type in number 8 and go to the fourth box and then again type in number 8 And then over here, go to arrow and then again type in for secondary DNS type in eight. Then again in the second box eight and in the third box type in number four. So I will remove this eight and then I will type in number four. Now again go to the fourth box and then again type in number four. So it's 8844 and again go to the arrow over here and restart your Xbox console and then check. Now the next step is to uncheck QoS tagging in your Xbox console. Now go to settings on the top and then go to general and then go to network settings and then scroll down go to advanced settings. Now over here scroll down at the bottom here you can see Q OS tagging settings select this option now if DSCP tagging and WMM tagging is checked if these two are checked over here you can uncheck these boxes uncheck these boxes and then restart your console and then check now the next step is to switch to different networks so on your Xbox console if you have any other available network you can switch to different network and then check you can also use your phone network so you can turn on the data on your phone and then you can turn on the mobile hotspot on your phone and then you can connect to your phone network on your Xbox console and then you can check. Now the last step is to perform factory reset.
and you have to select an option which says keep my games and apps in this case you will not lose any data on your xbox console so you can perform factory reset and then check to perform a factory reset of your xbox console go to the home screen and then go to settings and then go to system and then select console info now over here you will see a reset console option so go to reset console now over here on the bottom over here you can see options reset and remove everything reset and keep my games and apps so select the option which says reset and keep my games and apps and proceed with the reset so one of the steps shown in this video should help you fix this error so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel